Let's bring it out now and get Bernie McGurk's thoughts on all of this. Look, I, to me, it's a joke. It's a non-story. It's a leak. You know, you have a more FBI corruption and bias about to be exposed. You have Trump killing it over in Davos. And then they say, listen, let's ha hand the New York Times some talking points. New York Times and, of course, CNN and MSN, the rest of them dutifully take their cue and they obsess over this while we have these other revelations coming out. A non-story. Again, this Mueller guy, it's, it's just a, a desperate. It's an investigation in a desperate search for a crime is what it is. And it's, it's tainted, it's corrupt, the whole thing. It does it matter at all, Kennedy, that there is uh, reporting in a trail that there were discussions with Rosenstein and others about whether or not this was an option? I think it does matter. And I think there are different things here, and you have to be able to pull apart what's happening in this presidency because there are phenomenal successes, and they will continue to flourish uh, as the president's economic agenda really takes hold. And that's one thing, that's something he can sell in Davos. The other thing is he's a political novice and at, at sometimes is also a victim of his own flights of fancy. And he does things like, you know, he what he did in the Comey memo with Rosenstein was he laid out all the reasons that James Comey should have been fired. I think he was trying to do the same thing with Mueller. The problem is there is a very different threshold for firing those two individuals. And because of his noviceness, he didn't realize <laughs> Uh, how serious it would be if he tried to unseat Mueller. 